Hello Dynamics X community. Today we'll be talking about uh, new functionality in Dynamic 365 for operations and we'll be discussing advanced warehousing in retail store. So on Microsoft website, if you go to roadmapdynamics.com and uh, look up retail e-commerce functionality, there are a couple of new features that Microsoft released. One would be that now you can see stock for WHS enabled products Number two would be that now you can process product received for WHS enabled warehouses. As you know, in the X 2012, it was not possible to have a warehouse set to be a retail store as well as WHS enabled warehouse. Now they changed that and uh, now you can actually receive a purchase order that was created for a warehouse that is WHS enabled. And you can also receive a transfer order for WHS enabled items. Uh, I'm going to go back to the screen once we go to an actual receiving process because there's some confusion in the statement here. So before we begin, I'm going to show you the item that I've created for purpose of this demo. And the product is called VMS Retail. So you can see that the product has a storage dimension as a where, which has a advanced warehouse configuration link to it. Uh, so before we do the actual purchase order receiving, I just want to point out one more detail. So by default, Dynamic 365 Contoso does not have a full setup for retail channel. So before you begin, what do you have to do? You have to locate your retail store. And for this demonstration, we'll be using Boston Retail Store and make sure that the live channel database time sync intervals are set. So if you go here, you can see that the data download and data upload set to 15 minutes before when you open up the Dynamic 365 Contoso, it would be set to zero. So this will prevent you from updating any of the setup that you do on a retail channel. So the first setup that we have to do, it's on the actual retail store and we need to set a default warehouse to the warehouse that has VHS enabled. So in my case, we have it set to DC. So if I'm gonna click on that warehouse, you will see that this warehouse uses warehouse management capabilities. It's set to yes. So as it says right now, we have a product that was set up to be warehouse management enabled and we have a warehouse that is warehouse management enabled. And this warehouse is linked to a Boston retail channel. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly create a purchase order for this product. For that, I'm going to go to procurement and sourcing module, select all purchase orders. I'm going to pick random vendor. Uh, as a product, I'm going to select VMS retail product. Let's say we want to receive a quantity of 99. For the site, I'm going to select DC and the DC warehouse that's warehouse management enabled. Then we're gonna confirm a purchase order. Operation is completed. So now what are we gonna do? We're gonna go to the MPOS. Well, now it's called Cloud POS and I really like that feature. Now you can basically open Cloud POS or used to be impossible on any web browser device. So you can open it from mobile, you can open it uh, on any browser. And in my case, I'm using Google Chrome on Mac OS. So I'm gonna log in. That was operator ID that I've pre-created before the demo. And uh, if you'd like to see a setup for the retail or if you'd like to see any more retail videos, please let us know and make sure to uh, create a content for you. So I'm gonna log in. And now we're going to receive the purchase order we just created. So just to reference, the purchase order number is 1583. The one that I'll be receiving is 1583. This is our appeal. So in order to receive it, I have to click edit. And this is something that was already in place. The new functionality that they introduced, as you see on the screen now, now you can actually pick a location where you're going to be receiving that purchase order. So in my case, I'm going to pick a location receiving and uh, this location is license plate enabled and uh, we're going to click that. 
So now we need to commit to receive now quantity. I'm gonna select recommending to receive 99. And the next step would be clicking this button and purchase order is now received. So this is where I'm getting really confused. Uh, if you go to that purchase order in uh, the Dynamics 365 Reach Client and you go under product received journal and you go under lines and what I'm trying to see here, I'm trying to see the location that I received the purchase order to. So the location is blank and another interesting fact that the license plate is blank. However, for a purpose of this demo, the location profile is set for license plate to be mandatory. And obviously if you're using advanced warehouse management capabilities, uh, we'd have to have a location as mandatory as well. So something is not right here. And I, I spent some time doing different PO receiving and I was hoping that this information will show up, but it never did. However, if you go to the, see the on hand, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm opening up on hand form. I'm gonna look for my item. And let's look for the quantity of 99. What's interesting here that the location has been populated, exactly the one that we've selected in the previous screen, and the license plate's being generated automatically by the system. And if we go back to the Microsoft website, under OatMap, the claim here is that process a product received for purchase order in POS for VHS enabled store and items, which makes it easy to select location and receive into and enter the license plate to auto populate receiving light. So the statement, the second part, I think it's confusing which makes it easy to select locations. I agree, this is there, we're able to select the location, but the second part of that is and receive into an enter license plate to auto-populate receiving line. So this is where we might get confused in the future. People would think that they will be able to select the actual license plate from the cloud POS, which is not true. You're only able to select a location and the license plate will be auto-populated by the system. The second quick demo of what we're gonna do would be our on-hand inventory. So for that, we need to go to inventory lookup and uh, we need to search for our WMS retail item. And so now you can see that we're able to see a stock for WMS retail item for our store in Boston that has WMS retail warehouse linked to it. So the third demo we're gonna quickly do in this video would be a transfer order which is similar to the PO. So for that, I'm gonna go to inventory management and I'm gonna create a transfer order. I know that in DC East Warehouse will have stock and this stock will be transferred to our distribution warehouse, which is VHS enabled warehouse. So I'm gonna click here, create a line. And for this, I'm gonna use our product. I'm gonna do a transfer quantity of one. So let's do and confirm the shipment. So shipment is now confirmed. So I'm gonna go to the cloud POS and go back to the picking and receiving. And now we can see that we have a type transfer in transaction here. So I'm gonna edit, commit to the quantity of one. Before I do that, I need to select my receiving location. I'm gonna select quantity of one and basically receive that transfer order. Um, this will conduct our demonstration for advanced warehouse management and retail functionality. So we have a new free service which will allow you to use Dynamic 365 environment for free. We're not gonna ask you for email or credit card. You can simply go to our website and link will be provided in the description of this video and try Dynamic 365 for operations absolutely for free directly from your web browser. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and until next time.